one, for example, um, if we are uh, working with a group of doctors, we're in a style of our we may have one particular webinar that night where we use Adobe Connect, that's right. one of the tools that we use. It's live, you know, video and audio. We record the sessions, we have PowerPoints or whatever else you might want to, but that whole recording is also embedded in the LMS. So it becomes a connected approach to it, exactly. rather than just flat text. Or, you know, and you have this additional content that you're able to share with each other um, in addition to what's already there that's stored in the system. And that's a very common thing. Um, you see a lot of training that you should be doing. Well, right now, right now the federal government is, is really going towards the direction of um, uh, um, combining research with practice, and so and so then there, you know, we'll have we'll have a topic, a specific topic that webinar will focus on, and then we'll have a series of researchers and authors that are actually speaking about one of their, you know, one of their studies, and then we then have some practitioners, some actual discussants that will then respond to either how they've been able to use um, some of the you know, research components out of that, but then we also they'll have that interaction where people can post questions. And, we, and at the end, um, we actually unmute everyone, so um, so then they can then also have live discussion, and they can actually be talking to researchers. And we film it, you know, we're recording it, and it's also been just saved as a, or converted to a Windows Media file, and we just we can just upload it to our website, and boom, it's done. So I'm just trying to think of you know some of the requirements. You could almost have like a blended approach, yeah, right. 